Vroom. Vroom. I am in the middle of a big project. I'm working on the Painted Pink project, um, which may or may not come out before this video. I'm not sure. But I've been working on that really hard, and I'm actually getting a little burnt out from it. I'm trying some new technology. Um, I'm trying some new techniques that uh, are new to me, and I've never seen anyone else do. So um, yeah, I've actually, for two days straight, I've been working on just this one little technique. And it's going to be awesome if I can get it, and if not, it's going to be, well, lesson learned. But anyway, I wanted to get something done. I've been, you know, sometimes you got to break away from those big projects and do little ones. And I've got this uh, Tootsie Toy. It's one of the newer Tootsie Toys, so this is essentially worth nothing. It's the Chevy S10. Made in China, not worth anything, and it looks like a uh, kid has painted this. This came from the bucket of uh, Tootsie Toys and other uh, cars that were painted by kids. And uh, so I'm going to fix this guy up. I might change out the wheels even. We'll see what we'll do. I, don't know. I haven't really decided. But um, I do want to get this working. The hardest part, I think, is going to be this paint has got everything kind of glued together. So I'm going to have to... Ugh get this guy apart without breaking him. So let me do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I got it apart. It looks like it used to be red. It's very dirty. I mean, the interior is pretty filthy. But anyway, this needs to go into the stripper tank. Got my pickle jar full of citrus strip. And it looks like I might need to add some more. My jar is getting low. Fill it up with some fresh stuff. I don't think it loses its potency, but I do. Every time you take a car out, it uh, uses some. So you gotta top it off every once in a while. The cheapest place I've found to buy this has been Walmart. Some places it can be very expensive. It's loud over here because I have my 3D printer working, so we've got some fan noise. I'm going to be super lazy and just put this in my ultrasonic cleaner for just a couple minutes and uh, that should help me out a lot. Yeah, you buy these tools for a reason. Okay, so what I've decided to do for the wheels is uh, I 3D printed these neat knobby looking wheels. Now this is a resin print. They haven't hardened yet, so before they harden I'm going to do some shaping to make them work a little bit better. I need to, to make the hole for the the axle. So uh, I'm going to start doing that right now. It's much easier to do this before the print hardens than it is to uh, do it after it's hardened. You can, do it, you can do it after it's hardened, but then you have the issue. It's a little bit more brittle, so it can break. Those of you familiar with 3D printing may be wondering why did I not just print them with the hole already in the back? Well, the truth is I forgot to. Okay, so I've got the body all stripped off. I've uh, cleaned up some of the lines using a file. Not a whole lot. There really wasn't a lot that needed to be done. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well show you. I went ahead and painted up this grill. I think it looks really cool for uh, plastic. Pretty cheap. I, uh, I like how it looks. It's nice. Um, so anyway, we'll deal with that in a bit. So uh, I'm going to do a couple things to this before we get paint on it. I'm going to add a antenna to it. If I remember right, these had antennas about right here. So I'm going to put a hole here so we can make an antenna. So this will just be a few minutes. We'll skip ahead to when I'm installing the antenna. For the antenna, I've put a little bead. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. We may not be able to as close as I can get it. I super glued a little bead onto the end of this uh, music wire. And in the hole that I put right there, this will just slide right in there. I actually used slightly too large of a bit on that hole. And we'll just let that sit like that for a little while. I used my 3D printer to print some teeny tiny rear view mirrors. I mean, look how small these are. Look at my finger compared to it. I'm so impressed with this 3D resin printer and it just, they look awesome. But anyway, I'm going to glue those to the side here. I'm going to do that off camera because this is really finicky 
and I need to be able to see what I'm doing and right now I'm looking through the viewfinder. So when you see this again it's going to have the rear view mirrors attached to it and then we'll be ready to prime it. I am just tickled to death on how well those mirrors turned out. That is so cool. This printer just does not cease to amaze me. I could not be more pleased with how these wheels turned out. I mean they look totally awesome. So much better than the original. So these should just snap right back in like that. Oh, those look so good. You know, for these were what the original looked like. Ugh. But the new ones, pretty good. So I went ahead and primed it because that's kind of boring and you don't probably don't care to see that. I did use the Style Res primer. This is great stuff. Really good stuff. Goes on really easy. So next I'm going to paint it silver. And then I think we're going to try a candy on top of that. So I've never done that before. Probably going to mess up, but we'll give it a try. So I'm going to be using the Wicked Colors Silver. Put a good bit of 412 reducer. This is really thick, surprisingly thick. And some 430 Balancing Clear. I like to take these pipettes and suck it all up. Use that as a mixing tool. Works for me. This coat turned out fine. I think I probably should have used a black primer because this looks very gray. But, uh, I think it'll be okay. We just have to wait and find out. I'm going to use some Createx candy paint. And uh, this is my first time using this. I have what is called tequila yellow. No idea what it's going to look like. Chances of me messing up are high here. But you got to start somewhere. Interesting color. It's more of a golden color. Wasn't really expecting that. It's nice. I can see how it could be useful in some situations. I don't know how well it suits this truck, but this is more of an experiment build anyway. We'll see. It might look really good once we get it on the uh, the chassis. So I do like that uh, candy paint. It goes on really easily, really smoothly, really easy to use. I like it. Here it is. All done. Pretty much done. Um, I can't say that I love this paint color, but uh, I do love the candy from Createx. It goes on so easily, so nicely when you mix it up correctly. Um, I can see how other colors would look beautiful on this, and I can see how I can use this color to mix up you know, some nice ones. Not that this one is bad. I think it fits, suits this truck just fine. I like how I did the grill. I put a wash in there. It looks nice. Got a couple little things to add to it. I printed up this super tiny, we can focus, super tiny dog. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I think every work truck needs to have a dog sticking out of the passenger side. <laughs> awesome and since I imagine this being a work truck I also got this little tiny lawnmower it's probably not to scale but these Tootsie toys aren't to scale anyway so I'll keep that up in there in the bed of the truck so this guy's gonna be going to work well, if you remember this is the before and now the after and uh, this was a fun little project. These, these little low-risk projects are a lot of fun. 
I'm enjoying my 3D printer a lot. These 3D printer wheels, they look awesome. These little accessories, I plan on using those a lot more. It's, it was just fun to do, just fun to do. Uh, and that's the whole purpose is to have fun. Uh, these mirrors, I'm just blown away by how small the detail I can get with this 3D printer. I can't wait to keep trying these. I don't know if it would print them small enough for like a 164 on a Hot Wheels, but um, regardless, for these larger things, it's awesome. And I will try for the Hot Wheels to make some smaller ones. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Ruff, 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 ruff